from the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville, Georgia. It's about blooming time. Hi, I'm Nikki Davidson. Welcome to my studio. Uh, I was so honored to be asked to join the It's About Bloom and Time uh, exhibit at the CAC. Uh, how much fun this is. And because it's a lot about flowers, uh, that's kind of an unusual genre for me because I'm mainly a portrait artist. So I really did have a great time doing this. Uh, the painting that uh, you see here to my left is titled Trinity Rose. And I think that the thing that is most appealing about this piece is the light, which is backlit in this case, which gives, I think, a much more three-dimensional look to this piece. This is uh, just outside my studio in Dallas, Georgia. Um, I would have taped this in the studio, but like all my other artist friends, no one wants you to see the studio. <laughs> it's a busy place. Um, anyway, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself and my art career. Uh, I've been teaching and painting and competing for over 50 years. Uh, we've been in Georgia now for uh, close to 19 years. And formerly I was uh, in California, both in Southern and Northern California, and I did teach there. Um, so I've had a really a long career um, in painting. And this, to tell you the truth, this virus that has come along has given me the opportunity for the first time in 50 years to paint what I wanna paint instead of what I need to paint. <laughs> And that's the, I think that's true with a lot of artists. You get sort of caught up in uh, getting your commission work done, teaching, etc. And so you just don't take the time to do the fun things. And I've been able to do that for this last couple of months anyway. Um, my favorite genre is portraiture. And I do specialize in Native American work, uh, both portraiture and still life. Rain Belcourt and Little Big Mountain are dear friends of Nikki Davidson. All three portraits were best in show at various exhibits. I think that if, of, of all the people that I know that teach, I, I probably teach more genre and more different mediums than most of my friends. And so I've been asked often, if I had to pick just one media and one genre, what would it be? And that's really tough. Um, I think it would probably be graphite, pencil, and it probably would be portraiture and wildlife. Okay, so I got my teaching certificate in uh, Southern California, 1973, uh, and I had uh, also worked for Disneyland as a pastel portrait artist. Um, and I think that's where I got my love of portraiture. I worked in pastels for uh, a number of years, a long time actually, and I was influenced by Harley Brown who was probably the best pastel artist ever. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to meet him at the Booth Museum a few years ago. One of my most recent portraits was of Charlie Daniels, who um, is a a wonderful patriot uh, for our country, for our veterans, and he donates a lot of his time um, with giving concerts and then and, and giving the uh, pro 
proceeds of the concerts to the Shepherd's Men uh, organization, which helps our vets uh, who are having a tough time integrating back into their home lives. So I've been involved with that organization, and through that organization, the Shepherd's Men, I was fortunate enough to meet Charlie Daniels a number of times, be at his um, um, at his concerts, and did a portrait of him uh, two years ago. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. A breeder and trainer of Western Cutting Horses and Cattle, in year 2011, Charlie Daniels lost his beloved foundation stallion, King Bear. The loss didn't stop there, as there was a barn fire and the primary breeding stock was lost as well. A friend gifted Charlie Daniels a colt sired by King Bear, and the colt was named New Beginnings. Nikki Davidson was commissioned to paint a portrait of Charlie, entitled In the Beginning. The portrait includes Charlie aboard New Beginnings, with a flag in the background that Charlie loves so dearly.